Hi students, welcome to the problem solving session on power delivered or power absorbed by the circuit components. So let us see these questions and also solve one gate problem. The first question is uh, compute the power supplied or absorbed by the each component of the circuit. So we have to find it. Let us see. So how many components are there? We have four sources. So we have to find the power delivered or absorbed. So here you see the current is coming out of positive supply, right? So when current comes up, comes out of positive supply or positive source, then it is delivering the power, right? Or supplying the power. So let us assume this is uh, source one, this is source two, this is source three, this is source four. So power delivered by source one is P is equal to B into I. So it is supplying because current is coming out of the positive terminal. So it is supplying. So if we have this voltage value, V is 5, I is 9. So it is 45 watts. But it is supplying, so P is minus. So it is, what is the answer for this? Source 1 supplies. 45 watts power right okay what about source 2 here current enters through positive terminal so it is absorbing power right okay so what is p2 p2 is v into i what is voltage 2 volt i is 9 ampere so it is 18 watts so 18 watts absorbing so it is plus sign so 18 watts absorbing right okay what about uh, power supplied power by the supplied or absorbed by the source 3 here uh, okay this i have added in right it is 0.6 i it is a dependent source 0.6 i so what is v Right, it is for voltage current control voltage source. So 0.6 I V is 0.6 into I. I is this is this is I value 5. So 0.6 into I that is what our V I is 4 ampere. So 3 0.6 into 5, 3, 3 into 4, 12. So 12 watts and current enters through positive terminal, so it is absorbing power. right okay next you see uh, what about uh, this fellow power supplied by the or absorbed by the source 4 p4 is v into i v is 3 volt i i enters through positive so 15 i into i is 5 so it is 15 watts since current enters through positive terminal it is absorbing so it is plus only right so you see now you can check whether our answer is right or not you see what is the supplied power power supplied is minus 45 watts power absorbed total power absorbed is 18 plus 12 30 30 plus 5 15 45 watts so supplied power is equal to absorbing power so net power is PS plus PA supplied power plus absorbing power is zero because net is zero because PS is equal to PAB. Fine. So our answer is correct. Right. Next problem. Mm -hmm. So this question they have asked in gate 2002 ECE. So the dependent source shown in the figure whether it delivers or absorbs the power that is the question so v so it's a current source what is v1 v1 is 20 volt so v1 is a 20 by 5 so 4 ampere this is a current source that's why you put an ampere right so here you see current is coming out current coming out means it is delivering right so the first thing is it supplies or delivers the power. So these two options are wrong. Absorption is wrong, only delivery. So since current is coming out of the terminal, so positive terminal, so our current flows out, so it is deliver power. 
first thing we must understand. So now we see what is the power supplied. I we know we want V only. So I want to find V. So if, it, if I know the potential across this terminal, I can say what is the potential across this terminal. So let us assume the node, uh, the node, volt, node has voltage of V. So I apply KCL here at this node. What is the thing? V. I apply KCL at the node V minus this one. V minus 20 by 5, right? Outgoing, outgoing current. Here, outgoing current is V by 5. Here, it is incoming. That is, outgoing is equal to incoming. V1 by, oh, sorry, V by, uh, that is uh, 4 ampere. Right? No, no need to write V1 by 5. So, 4 ampere, right? Okay. So, now if we simplify, what is the value of V? So, this 5 will go that side. So 2V minus 20 is equal to um, what is that? Uh, v minus 20. V minus, okay. 2V minus 20 is equal to 20. 2V is equal to 40. V is equal to 20 volt. So voltage across this terminal is uh, okay, 20 volt. So we found it. So this is 20 volt. So this is 20 volt means this is also the voltage across this terminal is also 20. So we got V value. I is 4 ampere. So power delivered. Power delivered is equal to 20. V is 24. Is, uh, I is 4. So it is 80 watts. Simple. Right. I hope I understand this problem. If you have any doubt, please ask me in the comment section. I will clarify. Thank you.